Welcome to the last lesson. There are three word lists here, 18, 19, and 20, but these are just new words with old rules. Also, since we are nearing the end of the program, more emphasis will be placed on written work. That brings us back to page 27 and max. Let's look at the top of 27. I recommend displaying a simple 8 by 10 chart demonstrating this as a reminder to the students as they carry this over to their written work. They will refer to it often. As we come to the end of the main book, these words certainly are not strangers. During the previously assigned stories, all of these tricky critters were gradually included in the reading, and students were instructed in the teacher's story guide to make their own list as they were introduced, so these should be quite familiar. These two pages will now be distributed to the students to be kept in their binders. As the directions at the top of the page inform the student, they need to be really comfortable with these tricky words. Again, assign these two pages for homework, where someone at home can randomly point to a word from these pages, give a sentence with the word left out, and have the student supply the missing word, although none of this is new. Or have them work in small groups in the classroom doing the same thing. Have a stronger student assist those who need reinforcement. As individual students become ready, distribute these pages, 31 to 40, where every tricky critter here is included, even a lot of the trickiest critters. Have them read these paragraphs to the teacher, to each other, to a responsible person at home. They tend to giggle at these stories because they're funny, they're cute. They don't tire of reading them aloud. Take advantage of that. While this reading is going on, simultaneously do the workbook pages for 18, 19, and 20. There are not many. This yellow lesson guide and the teacher's story guide will guide you through this. These will direct the sequencing for ending the program. There is only one story left to read, and it is made up of all three word lists. It seemed appropriate to have some fun with the tricky critters that we referred to throughout. So the story is about them. It was just too cute to pass up. It's called The Big Mistake. As we come to the end of the program, I must reiterate what I said at the beginning. Learning to read our English language can be very difficult for many people. The purpose of this set has been to assist those individuals, not by trying to teach the hundreds of thousands of words that make up our language, but rather to give the learner a foundation, a foothold to move forward on their own, at their own pace. What we have done here has been very methodical. Students were taught from the very beginning to use what they knew to unlock what they didn't know. These challenges were presented in a fun way with a lot of you-can-do-it moments. Students enjoy this method. I mentioned in the beginning of the set the need for flexibility. Well, I know of some teachers who have adapted this set for students who are just learning English. It is that versatile. Teachers who have used this set have found it a pleasure to teach. I have no doubt at all that you too will find it to be so.